summer is coming it's actually here and for this reason i went bold i bought myself the ultimate diver the maybach of mercedes or the watch of superman it's the zrc ranfons 3000 intro <laughs> This is an unboxing and a special episode so stay tuned because I will announce a new garage challenge where together we're going to redesign an iconic watch and then send it to the manufacturer to see how they react. So it's quite important to be subscribed to the channel for future updates. Thank you. But some of you might ask why did you bought a 5000 meter step rating watch Andre? Well, the truth is, if I wanted an accurate watch, I would have bought a Grand Seiko or a Quartz. If I wanted to be validated by other people, I would have bought an Omega or a Rolex. But I wanted a watch for my soul. Different, it's more for a person that likes to stand out from the crowd. And obviously, being able to see it in flesh, it was a decisive point for me. So I went to the boutique of Albini Prasa in the center of Bucharest and there I had the chance to see most of the ZRC collection, because they are officially retailers of the brand. What do you mean who is Albini Prasa? Well, they made the Tissot Heritage Navigator Le Flèche d'Orient, the limited edition watch. I recently made a review to this wall timer, so the link of the video is on the top right corner or on the description. So the watch comes on a beautiful white box with an apple style cover, it takes a few seconds to remove it. Inside we will find a nice white foam cover, two manuals, one tells the story of the brand and the other one covers the technical specs of the Grand Fonds 3000. We have a cool sticker and the Grand Fonds Pelican style case with the seahorse emblem that represents the Deep Blue project. And when we open the case, spoof, we meet the ZRC Grand Fonds 3000 and a cool key holder branded with the same seahorses which represents the deep blue project now very important everyone think that is it well that's not it and because it's not advertised i will show you what you will find underneath this foam yup an extra strap the gf3000 comes on a black extra textile strap with a tool to change the strap between them exactly an allen tool not you allen a hexagonal allen tool so as first impressions, guys, the ZRC Grand Fonds 3000 is definitely a tool watch, might consider it over-engineered. Due to the materials used, the hexagonal screws, the tubes and many more, this is actually the world's first watch made to reach 5000 meters depth rating without a helium escape valve. So if you are not aware of all the features offered by ZRC, we are looking at a design engineered long time ago with the help of the French Navy. Together ZRC and the Navy created the ideal watch for the military mine clearance divers because they had the mission to clear the mines from the shores of France after the World War II Nazi occupation. So they needed, besides a comfortable diver, an anti-magnetic case. And besides the armies, the watch was on Jacques Cousteau's adventures as well. So I promise you I'll come back with more details in regard to their history when I will make the full review episode. But if you want to know more until then, I will leave the link to the ZRC Grand Fonds 300, the Black Phantom review on the top right corner. So we have unique features offered by the brand on these Grand Fonds watches. The ECS is an easy cleaning system placed on top of the bezel. When you dive the bezel often gets stuck due to the fact that the salt is crystallizing. So the system enables interior cleanup by circulating fresh water that dilutes and evacuates the sea salt. As a demo my GF is thirsty so I'll give it a bit of work but easily not to drown my 3000 meters boy. And then put it on my shoulder and tap it easily on its back. Blech. There you go, nice and easy. Another great feature is definitely the crown protective system that does not allow you to put the watch on your wrist without screwing down the crown. So from this point of view, safety is guaranteed thanks to the exclusive strap system using the retractable lugs. This feature is inherited directly from the second model launch in 1964, being available on a bracelet. Today the crown protection can work with a bracelet with a NATO or a rubber strap. 
And speaking of the bracelet, the new Grand Fonts 300 is equipped with an automatic adjustable strap, which allows it to be worn over a diving suit. This unique embedded spring system automatically adapts to the diameter of the wearer's wrist and, inspired from the bracelet design, we have also the rubber straps. They are made in-house by ZRC, they're curved, trimmed, very comfortable and they come in different colors. I personally bought myself an extra red one, perfect for the summer. But wait to see what happened a few days ago. ZRC is about to launch or silently launched some new Grand Phones 300 versions, they were posted in the watches news blog. So from my preference point of view we have two highlights here, a sunburst blue and a polar dial. This time they have minute indexes on the chapter ring and applied numerals and a date window. What is cool, there is a black version with a full loomed display. The spirit model was updated as well, adding the triangle logo and the red accents on the loom pip, presented on a date or a no date. And that's not it, the Grand Fonts 3000 has a color update as well, a black yellow colorway. So I can't wait to see these beauties in flesh, maybe I will have the chance to review some of them. So the general specification of this ultimate ZRC diver are the following, a titanium grade tube case on a diamond shape measuring 42mm in diameter, with a lug to lug distance of 49mm plus 7mm which is the length of the crown guard which sits angled towards the wrist. A height of 19.5 mm but in reality feels more like a 16 mm and a 24 mm lug width. Has a 5 mm padded sapphire glass, a ceramic bezel insert and a SW200-1 Celita Elabore movement with a power reserve of 38 hours. Now, the Elabore is the second grade of SW200 Celita. There is a basic one, the special or the Elabore, the premium and the best is the chronometer grade. The crystal is possibly the star of the show, we have a beautiful super domed crystal with a thickness of 5mm, enough to create spectacular distorted angles. The titanium case is interesting as the brand itself, we are looking at a diamond or a trapezius case. This concept was obviously inherited from the monocoque concept from the 1964 model and even though this is a 3000 meters, actually a 5000 meters depth rating has no helium escape valve but the case profile, the side of the case has the same thickness as the 300M model. The difference is on the case back and on the super domed crystal. And dial wise, yes, this is the Superman's watch, but in the same time, this is the French Panerai. And yes, the design language of the dial has military roots. Firstly, the coolest thing is the gradient from the dark depth blue to a bright blue that symbolizes the surface of the water. This gradient is already a characteristic of the deep sea divers, as an example, the Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea. And I like the loose simplified layout, let's say, where you cannot tell exactly what's the time, even though this model has a hidden minute track. Still, I like the baguette markers and I like a lot the dots already iconic for the ZRC brand. This ceramic bezel insert completes the robustness and the ultimate title of the watch. We are looking at a dark blue bezel with indexes and numerals. The normal ZRCs in general they have dots instead of detailed indexes. And the bezel action is extremely accurate, is very snappy and feels well made. Loom wise we have a beautiful constellation, it feels really cool how the loom is distributed throughout the watch. The Swiss Super Luminova paint is excellent applied, everything is even smooth and good looking. And as for how it wears, what is the beauty of it? This is a 42mm in diameter with a depth rating of 5000m and a 19.5mm in height. Well in reality it wears like a 40mm case due to the trapezius shape of the watch. And believe it or not, officially this depth monster slides under the cuff. Also we will have a comparative review between the ZRC Grand Fonts 3000 and the Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea, but soon. Time out, time out, time out, pause. So guys, more than 4 months passed since we recreated together the Setina DSPH in the Garage Challenge, so it's kind of time to do one more. How does it work? Well, it's simple, I am creating a form with feedback where you can input your preferences on how you see the watch redesign. Based on your feedback, I will make the design on an episode and then we will send it to the manufacturer to see how they react. Obviously, the creation is signed in our behalf. And I am thinking, since we are on the ZRC thread, we can recreate the first ZRC Grand Fonts from 1960. 
This is an interesting watch to be reissued in my opinion and I have a hunch that this model will be recreated in the future by the brand. And maybe we can help them with some design insights in regard to the people's preferences. So the rules are, in the description you will find the design form. It is a Google form, 100% safe, so access it with confidence. Inside you will find some photos with the 1960s ZR600 phones and the form where you can choose from. The crystal type, the case size, the dial color, the lug width, the bezel insert, the strap, the crown position and in the end you can add your name as a contributor so you will be on the list of contributors when I'll send the creations to the manufacturer. Once we make the design based on our preferences, the sketches will be sent to ZRC and hopefully we will have a reaction from their side. So the link to the form will be available in the next period until the 16th of June. That is the date when I'll start doing the actual video. So I am awaiting for your preferences. So to summarize, the full review will come up soon. You can watch the ZRC Grand Fonts 300 videos until then. Also, you can find the form to participate at this design challenge. So that's it. It was supposed to be a short video, but it turned out to be a bit longer and hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, Please consider subscribing for future creative updates. Brave Vitters needs subscribers. Thank you very much. And until next time, be brave, but stay safe.